The moment I saw her, I was just shocked at how bad her skin was. But you can tell from her tail that she was just the sweetest little dog. Because she was so approachable at that point, it was clear you know, she had at one point had some human love and human touch. But at that point, I didn't have any kind of rescue supplies with me, so I didn't really want to touch her because I could see that she was in a bit of pain. So my partner and I scooted home and I raced back, but she had gone. So I got stuff to find this little baby. Now I just need to find out where she is. So over the next few days, I kept looking for her. I bumped into a local man who worked at the market. He explained to us that he knew where she was sleeping at night. So I agreed with this gentleman that I would go and buy a cage so that he could try to catch it. And he messaged me that night saying, yep, we've got her. And so the next morning, I scooted back up to the market. And then when I arrived, little Delilah just looked so sad. Hey, darling girl. It's okay. Wow. And she got put in the back of the car and uh, the local man, who was very, very happy to see her, rescued. Thank you very much. And from there, things just really took a turn for the better for Delilah. She got a lot of medication and care and I visited her as much as possible. Hello, baby. Hi. Hi. Hello. And you could just see day by day her skin condition just getting better and better and better. And eventually, after several weeks of treatment, she was able to go to foster. She had really come out a changed dog from that experience. And then she went to Amelia. When she came to me, she got off the car and immediately started wagging her tail. To be honest, she was always out of her shell. Considering she was already wagging her tail, maybe like within days or maybe a week. She was literally following me everywhere, including to the bathroom. My guess is she didn't have time to properly be a puppy when she was on the street. So I think when she got here and she got comfortable, her puppy personality just kind of showed up. Such a beach dog. She really loves going to the beach and just kind of have all the zoomies in the world. She's the worst guard dog you could possibly imagine because she just wants to play with everyone and every dog. Yes, good girl. I think the fact that after everything that she went through living on the street, despite all that, she's still a very happy, go-lucky kid. I think every sign pointed at the direction that we were fit for one another. I think we hit a jackpot with Delilah.